back um, I, this round I'm going to talk about uh, something called station um, a station uh, we'll create an 80s playlist here or call 80s 24-7 we'll just call it 80s 24-7 and what this is is this is um, a, well we got a music playlist but the station what it does is it takes multiple playlists and it injects them into a temporary playlist um, of about 300 videos selected from those playlists and it really doesn't matter how big the playlists are if it's a small playlist a bunch of small playlists it's going to be a lot of repeats of those videos if it's a bunch of big playlists or even if it's small and big playlists it will um, it will have repeats of some and and not so much repeats of the other so um, what you do to change it into station is you go up here and type station and hit enter and it then presents you it changes all the videos to this one and two and what that indicates is that uh, everywhere there's a one uh, the first playlist is going to uh, go there into that content and the uh, two is going to go into the second place and um, so here we might want to do music and uh, do some 80s so if you type in 80 then it's or 80s then it's going to show you 80s hits here then it's going to fill it out and give you some idea of what that's going to look like then if we come in here and hit music and then do another 80s content so you hit 80s and then we'll say 80s UK pop charts and all that stuff fills out so we got some feeling for how it's going to orient things we can shuffle it so that um, there is an even distribution or something of a even distribution of video content uh, and uh, so there's a sparseness to it um, I'm going to come up with better ways of patterning this so that uh, it is more distributed rather than uh, being partially distributed like this it's, this is not very good um, so then uh, if you want more videos you, it, it'll let you change it at any time I can set it up for eight and uh, wow look we got eight to s choose from I can do some more 80s so I can put 80 in here so 1984 exhaustive put in another one music uh, select this one and what it's doing is it's selecting from playlists that are already on channel Z and uh, you can even select from the same playlist m multiple times and it will just increase the chances that of that content showing up um, so let's put in some uh, premium pop which is kind of 80s content and then we hit some music and then we can do do some more let's see um, Moloko no um, old Genesis maybe so you throw in some old or some album oriented we could put some album oriented rock in there let's go down the playlist and see how much stuff is in here there there's a lot if I put 80 there it would it would wind it down um, uh, TMBG Nilax um, Elvis Costello let's put some Elvis Costello in there and uh, then uh, music and let's look for some other content maybe uh, it's a very special Christmas was done in the 80s so we'll do that and, and then we put music and then we throw in our XTC playlist so I think there is an XTC one in Ari in there 24-7 I don't know what it is and uh, so that toss that in and so we get all that playlist content and then we can go ahead and shuffle it again uh, and after shuffling it several times 
then you have to hit save order and uh, when you save an order like that it is going to tell the playlist the next time it plays it has to auto generate all it has to auto inject all these videos and so the only way we're going to get it to work is to go to TV playback and it'll throw us into a TV mode and start playing back and it's going to load in that video content and since it's in TV mode it's 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 just throws us right in the middle of the playlist and does its little computation to determine what it you would be seeing had the had the broadcast started sometime in the past um so you know it's like it just it like it goes back in time and it starts the playlist and wherever you fall is where it would be playing had it been playing all this time since some time in the past that's how it works um and uh if you want to go back to your playlist you click up here in the link and it takes you back to your playlist and this and if you don't like the station anymore and you want to do something different you can just hit music up here and it will go back to being just the playlist that it was before being this XTC playlist and then you just change the name to XTC's or XTC's playlist so it, does, it gets differentiated be, between the previous um, playlist and uh, then uh, you can go back and uh, test it out say TV style playback and it will play yeah XTC content you know and uh, I think it even will it it may recall if you throw it back into station it may recall it's 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 arrangement of station content I'm not 100% sure um, we can try it let's see we'll go in here and then throw it back into station see if it remembers what I was going to do with the station content and then I'll pop that in and hit A let's see if it remembers anything no no it, it completely erases whatever it had in there so then we hit music here and it goes back to being a regular playlist uh, and so that was a station and there's a playlist and um, how you might use a station is say you've got a, some tribute to a musician and you want to have a certain amount of his record album music uh, songs in there you might want to have some interviews with the guy and then you might want to have some of his music videos you would do those in separate playlists and then you'd bring them into a station as a tribute to that guy and it would randomly play um, videos and interviews and such content uh, together um, and stations are great for uh, playing playlists that belong together like 80s playlists or um, talk uh, shows you might want to mix some Johnny Carson with some James Cannon with some Stephen Colbert. I've got all of them on my play, on my website, and so that that's what you can do with that. So um, let me. I'm going to cover a little more in the next tutorial. So let's hit stop on this.